guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes one and two of Lacrice Recoil. Uh, that's how you pronounce it? I'm really so? Yes, yes, but yes, surprise! This is the thing! This is the show! This is the mystery show! Funny enough, like, hey, <laughs> nudge, nudge, it was kind of very obvious that it was going to be this show, um, if you, like, follow me on Twitter and such. For the last couple of weeks, I think we were, like, not even at the halfway point with most of the, like, fall shows. Um, I think I was about a quarter of the way done with, um, Love After World Domination and about almost part way with Summertime Rendering. And I was like, what the heck am I going to watch next? And so this plus another show... And then, you know, at the same time, uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runner, uh, Edge Runners was, like, immediately on the top of my watch list because the previous podcast for Weaves of the Roundtables that I did with my guy friends, um, they had all talked about this show. And they, they literally told me stuff without spoilers, thank God, um, that this was really good, that I needed to check it out and such. And I was like, okay, okay. Uh, and I went on Twitter and I said, hey, I'm gonna try to watch this cyberpunk and then also um call of the night i don't know when the heck i'm gonna watch call of the night as well i'm still like indecisive so you know we already watched cyberpunk and such binge the heck out of that and cried so this of course was obviously the next one um after they all like literally just said deja like and the the biggest thing was this everybody was very surprised that I did not react to this because originally I was going to watch this. It was in my plan and I think very, I think maybe a week before it aired or maybe a day before it aired, I ultimately said no. I was like, not not because I had bad feelings on it or anything. It, it looked good. It had, I, I saw the trailer, um, the, the little, like, before you find out what the show is actually about. So like, the, you know, the key scene, oh, hey, yeah, the cat. <laughs> and ish um and i was like oh my god like this is my like ish in my niche and i was like yes but i was just like i don't think i have time for this and such so I, I made the decision to kind of put it on the side and i was like when i do have the free time i will watch this show and we get to the end or the middle halfway point of love after world and i was like you know what I was like, I don't think I've ever done this before, but I'm going to be stupid and I'm going to make a Patreon request. And I said, I'm going to choose this show because I really want to watch the show and I want to know everything about this. Plus, your girl also sat and, re and listened to the dang opening song. Um, I was on TikTok and it's the the first take because we, we we talked about this on pop team epics uh one of the pop team epics reaction videos that parodied that ish and i started fangirling and stuff and i was like oh this is it and i was like oh it's the class <laughs> well uh the one that i was listening to was the clara song for this ser uh, for the series and i was like the first time when i heard this song I could not stop listening to it. I was literally like, I think it was one day I was editing something. Um, I'm editing, I have my headphones in, and I'm just listening to the song over and over again. And I was like, God, this is such a damn good song. So, um, but initially, yes. <laughs> um, I do know a little teeny tiny bit about what this show is about. Because obviously, I, I did also watch the opening about a couple of days ago. Um, I already knew about the gun situation, so I just don't know everything else and such. Um, but I am excited. The only other thing I do also know about this is the dub. Um, one of my other favorite English dubs, um, voice actors, she plays the long-haired talk girl girl. And her, Miss, uh, how do you say her name? Is there anything you want? I think that's how you say her name. Her, she plays Best Girl Haru in Persona 5. So if you ever play Persona 5 Royal, you know, romance Best Girl Haru. <laughs> I'm just saying. Inish. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go.
Mm, of course. That's a bomb. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Girl. I mean, she's fine, you know? Yeah. Mm. Okay, you don't get along with others. You know who she kind of sounds like? I'm gonna listen to her voice a little bit longer.
Okay, yeah. She kind of sounds like... Okay, talking to literally. And if this is her, we already know she's best fucking girl. She sounds like Destiny slash Cosette Doe from Top No, Tisato, I, I literally don't know her say. Why would you be a problem child? Mm. Well, I mean, hold up. From the opening, it did. It had an ex- it, there was a bomb. So it was explosion. Well. Yeah, but they didn't explain what happened though. Mm-hmm. Context clear, Stija. Jesus. Watch is going to be the person who was the hacker. It's somebody they know. It wouldn't surprise me. Come on now. It's usually always someone you effing know. Hold on. Questions later. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely fucking Cosetto. <laughs>
Like a missing person? Oh. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I get that, but sometimes that's reckless. And she could have gotten hurt, and then you would have been the one to blame. Yeah. Social media stalking. Yeah, because something tell me you might die by the end of this episode. Well, I mean, that's only because you've seen the happy-go-lucky side of her. I bet you when she does her shit, she a badass.
No, oh my god, honey, no! Mm hmm. Damn. <laughs> Oh, damn. Jesus. I don't know about him. Bad guy. He give me bad guy vibes. It would surprise me if he's the bad guy of this damn show. <laughs> but I mean, first initial thoughts. This shit is good. Like, oh my god. I, I love the fight. <laughs> like, once again, we can already establish. Talking up. Best girl. That is Cosetto. That is Destiny. Freaking best Girl, once again, also, the chick over here, me, a.k.a. me, waiting for the Talk to OP Destiny freaking game to come out. It's been almost a whole year, and that game has not come out, and it was supposed to, and I was all ready to spend money <laughs> on another damn gotcha game to ruin my fucking life, like always, because you know gotcha games, goddamn, like, uh... 
Huh. But it's good. Oh my god. <laughs> They're precious. Really, truly precious. Oh my god. Like they they cute together. I already ship them in a weird way. And I don't know if everybody initially kind of thought this, and it's not only because A1 Pictures is doing this anime, and A1 Pictures does another damn anime that we all fucking watch. I know, we well, you know I fucking watch it, because I did reactions on it, and I re- I'm currently kind of re-watching the show and such. <laughs> it's kind of obvious what the name of the show is and such. I mean, we just celebrated the anniversary for this show. <laughs> Once again, I'm getting very obvious on what the show is. Um, but, okay, I'll say it like this. Um, Takina gives me very much Kirito vibes. Like, she's very, like, to herself, a little, mm -hmm, little hard headed, because mm -hmm, there were times where Kirito could be very, very hard headed. Little Missy Sato over here, yeah, she kind of gave me awesome vibes. Yes, she is like the sunshine of this, and I'm like, oh yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm, I can see that, definitely can see that. But like, oh, this is good, this is good, and it's only episode one, and I feel like it's just about to be. It crazier because one like I like I said we are already said at the beginning of this I knew about the gun thing but like oh that montage at the beginning oh my god holy shit was not expecting that but like pop 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 they're like oh my god damn they really went in on this and I feel like it's just gonna be even crazier with the following weeks that we're gonna go to because it's gonna be like I think it's gonna take me like what six weeks to watch this show I'm guessing but I don't know like oh it's good different not not in, not in a bad way in a good way good different like oh for like damn like oh i might have to rewatch this for this episode again because jesus but i feel like because of the fact is um my new best girl she she's gonna learn from chisato like to really the value of saving someone and i like that because as you can see she is a little cold and I I completely understand that because, you know, hey, I've been there. I've been a very, like, mm, to myself, stone cold, done all the time. It's shy. Don't get it. Sometimes don't get along with others because I'm, like, <laughs> shy and such. Um, but it's just, it's going to take a little while for her to warm up to Chisato because right now Takina is over here like, this girl over here, like, she pissing me off, like, I don't know how I'm about to feel about this girl. Like, mm. <laughs> talking to his darkness. Like, she's <laughs> It's just she's a sunshine. She's pure. She has so much energy. She is like she's a little kid. She's talking to with a little kid on sugar. Like, yeah. <laughs> kid on some damn sugar like she she like an energizer bunny <laughs> but you know when it's time for her to get her itch done she her her personality just changes and she is like in the fucking moment and such now am i saying my best girl isn't like that no no no, no. she's just like okay we got to save someone right all right so you know what we're just gonna you know she likes to think outside of the bun uh, out of the box and stuff so she's just like okay i'm gonna kill everybody but she's like i'm gonna keep you know what's her face alive and of course you know you got the other chick saying like oh my god you could have hurt you know you could have hurt and she's like but you know she's okay she's alive she ain't dead i mean i understand that <laughs> Or, you know, where you have a friend who, you know, hey, is the greatest at driving. And then you have another friend who's not the greatest at driving. And, like, let's say, you know, they like to speed and such. And next thing you know, you're, you're like, over here looking at them like, hey, um, I value my life. 
And so as you get to your destination, you're like, oh my god, you could have killed me. And then they look at you like, but did you die? It, that's... <laughs> Imagine how I'm gonna feel about the end of episode two. <laughs> but yes, blonde guy, bad guy. We I've said it. I see. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna do one more thing before we go into the next episode. Okay, remember, remember what the fuck I said when um when when uh oh my god, what's the damn show's name? Uh, BNA, BNA. When that show came out, or even oh my god, what's the movie's name? I literally cannot remember. It starts with a P. Yeah, 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 that trigger movie. Yes, pro. Fuck it, I can't remember the P movie. <laughs> that movie and how um both of the bad guys blonde haired. We got a blonde haired character in here. He's male. Bad guy. Bad guy. I I'm right here, right now at one fifty eight in the morning. On the 23rd of November of 2022, we're putting it in, we're putting it in existence. He is the bad guy. I am not going to be surprised if he's the bad guy because it's kind of obvious. But it does make me wonder who the hacker is. Like I said, I mean, did he just kill him? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, are <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two in three, two, one. Go. Right? I mean, it feels like we're going very much dollars esque with this from Dorara. Oh, so you're not dead. Okay. Damn. Freaking fashion model, oh my god, like, I just went out her
Yelaine, mm hmm. That, like, literally, that's what y'all gonna hear every single week. Cosetto. <laughs> that or Destiny or Ume. Damn, that's a nice bag. You know, kind of want that. Mm-hmm, yes. You know what? Make that. Put that shit on Amazon. I don't care how much it is. I'll buy it. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. Okay, and that also has to be a lie then.
So, are you, like, gonna take the mask off or no? Yep. <laughs> no offense. I mean, yeah, you're in a co <laughs> costume. I mean, you know you can fake a passport. I mean, you can fake anything, right? I'm not saying do that, though. Please <laughs> Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. All right, you know, how about we open the doors now? <laughs> I mean, how you two have guns. Shoot the glass. Huh? Hmm? Ah. Jesus. Episode two, Deja. So no.
Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you know, talking is just going to use it as a shield, though. Yes, sir, that's your blood. <laughs> I'm like, damn, her hand to hand combat is good. Hey, she being nice, she could have said fuck you in your wound. No. You might want to stay down if you know it's good for you. See what the fuck? What I tell you? What I tell you? What I tell you? Bad guy. Mm. But see, he's gonna kill him off too. Duh. But damn. You didn't know. Huh? What? <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah! Uh, uh. Huh? Oh! I was wondering who she was in the opening! Oh! Oh, she's so cute. She kind of gives me hella feel. Oh my god. Yeah, she's in there. Now my thing is, what the fuck you wanna know? Mmm. Mmm. Uh, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Thank <laughs> you.
looking at like, I am going to beat the shit out of you. Shut up right now and in there. Rubber band. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because she's on those free box cuts I just like top tier <laughs> Like oh you oh my god this show got me like damn I'm thinking like Jesus we just killed the freaking walnut like oh damn I mean because she, she got shot like he because we didn't know that was a female shot ten times You can't recover from that like mm mm you you gone <laughs> You mm -mm, sayonara. Uh, uh, goodbye. Like, oof, but damn. <laughs> oh but, okay, yes, Mr. Bellani, why are you sitting here asking them? Oh, yeah, what y'all really do? Mm, 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 uh huh. Once again, don't trust you. No, 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 no. I want to know who he is voiced by. Like, mm hmm. Like, yeah, we don't trust him. <laughs> we do not trust him. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. Because you know, be you know, be really funny. And and this always happens, especially like when I watch something. And there's always, like, a Seiyu that I recognize, because I feel like I know who he's voiced by and such. And we, we always make this joke in, in, like, several different animes. It happened when I watched freaking, um... <sighs> oh, my God. What the fuck is the name of that show? <sighs> I, I gotta look it up now. Okay, give me one second, please. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nope, no, no, I remember it, I remember it. Chivalry of a Failed Knight. There we go, there's one. Then it also happened when I watched, um, freaking, um, Flip Flapper, uh, Flip Flappers, um, Flap, <laughs> yes, that show. Then it also happened with Demon Slayer. So, Mr. Kitty, so say you, you win this show! <laughs> That you in this show. Now, it, it would be if he is playing the blind guy, and if if the blind guy is evil, I think this would be a very interesting role for him then, because I've all anything that he's in, he's always playing either the 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 nice guy and such, and I think this would be like something completely different because you know how like when you have like a favorite actor, actress, voice actor say you whoever and you've always seen them do like their what I like to call their safe roles the, sh the roles that they're really really good at and such and then they're kind of like you know I want something new um and refreshing that is different from all these other characters that I've done in the past and it could be doing like a bad guy or something like that and just something that's different that's not you know, essentially a part of their norm. And if it is him and such, I wouldn't be surprised because honestly, like, psh, besides, well, did I ever watch Arrow Manga Sensei? Did I? I may have, like, watched a clip or two. I mean, because he's in that too and such. And <laughs> But I may have watched, like, a good clip, but I was just, hmm. Yeah, let's not talk about that. But yeah, yeah, like it, it seems like obvious. And we're this is only episode two, and how my thoughts might change when I watch episode three and four because I, I'm gonna kind of be smart and maybe a little bit dumb and probably watch the next two episodes later on this week. Even though you know today is the twenty third and tomorrow is Thanksgiving, but by the time the Patreon see this, it'll be Saturday. So hi, how you doing? But um, yeah, I love it. It's. Two episodes in, it's good. The action is there. It, it's literally giving me, like, how I was when Akudama Drive first came out and how I was, like, super excited for it because, of course, that was my most anticipated anime of fall the year it came out and how, because I am a freaking 
horror for anything that Kodaka makes and such, it's like, yes, yeah, already was jumping in on that bandwagon and such. And I, I feel like A1 Pictures, as of right now, even though I have not seen the whole entirety of the show, they're doing a really good job on this. They've done a good job. I, I love the way the world looks. I do have questions, especially about the tower that gets it destroyed in the dang opening. And hopefully we get a little more answers on that because we're, like I said, I'm only two episodes in. And there's a lot of unanswered questions, okay? Like, the, the guy who's in the robot mask, who the fuck is that? And why, like, of course, he sold, the, he sold freaking Wana, and he, and he cut me out for what? For money? Like, <laughs> with the blonde dude? But you know, once again, like, seriously, and, and, okay, stuff that tells me of why, because maybe, because, of course, she wanted to be the top number one hacker. Okay, no problem, I get it, but damn, you had to get the girl killed, Jesus. Um... But something tells me it's very similar to, like, okay, we're looking at, like, um, uh, the Yakuza or, like, in Mafia or business like that. Where it's like, oh, hey, there's always that one person who we have to and such to keep quiet. And so tells me Mr. Robot Hacker over here, he gonna get sometime soon in the next couple of weeks. Who flippin' knows? I mean, this show can go anywhere. Really, truly any freaking where I mean, bruh, like, okay, one, we need to see a date with you sometime. <laughs> I want it, I want the, I want them to go on a date. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Give me, give me my girl's love. I need that. Give me my Yuri, because they, they're so cute together, and I kind of want them to be together. Like, I, from what I also did hear about this series, um, was that, of course, there's a lot of shippable moments between these two. Um, I, the big spoiler thing that I do know, I do know that they do not get together at the end of this. And honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, because that does kind of leave it open that it's a possibility that, yeah, they could get together. But from what I also heard from when I did the, um, the podcast with the guys, that something else is coming, like, soon-ish. I don't really remember when. I know it's sometime next year. I just don't remember month-wise and such. But something is coming. I know a lot of people would like to see like an OVA for this series. Um, I think they also talked about like a potential, like maybe a spinoff. I know it's something of an announcement is coming. I just know um, that from what, like I said, we talked about in the podcast, because of course they couldn't really tell me everything. Cause you know, hey, hey, you know, cause I was like, yeah, I'm going to watch the show. And they're like, oh yeah, we can't really spoil it for queen. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to know. So yeah, at that time I had to kind of meet myself and shit. <laughs> but yeah, I honestly really enjoyed the hell out of these two episodes. I mean, shit, like, yes, you got my baby freaky Cosetto once again. Oh, my destiny in this show. Best freaky girl. Oh, my God. Like, yes. It, and it's, like I said on my freaking Twitter, you, once again, we all knew this is coming. Like, it's so funny because I was retreating crap. Like, so many fan arts and pictures of both of these girls. So you could obviously really know that this was the mystery show and such. But yes, like, oh my god. Like, knowing me, I, I'm probably going to end up buying merch of this. Like, I, I know myself. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I'm going to be broke again. Damn it, Tisha. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is the reaction to be towards episodes one and two of, uh, I'm literally going to butcher it once again, Leakish Leak Recoil. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday. Yeah, because you're, of course, you're replacing Love After World. Um, for everybody else for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.